Hi guys, Joel's on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to episode 7 of season 3 of Once Upon a Time. Let's get into it. Five days ago? You have to stay here. No, why? What are we going to I, see I from it. their I'll perspective? I'll drag it tomorrow when I'm working alone. It's a cloaking spell. Why? Because Rob Wu said... He said others were coming. Even if there were, you still have to cloak the city. You really want some... Uh, more tourists and all of that in the city? Oh god, wait, you are the backup? You just need to believe in yourself. Uh, and very quickly at that though. <laughs> you can do it, Belle! Yeah, 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 you can hear me, you can do this. Might want to believe a little harder. <laughs> Is that hard enough for you? Oh shit, 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 faster! No, not you faster! The cloak thingy faster! No, 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 we simply need to get word to our friends on the ground. All it does is move up our timetable a touch. I want to. I want to seem stressed out desperately. He's very really confident. Confident Pan's about all shadow? this. That's your way off the island. Unfortunately, it's the only way. <laughs> you and I are on shadow duty. As am I. This track won't be easy. You could use another veteran of the island. Thanks, man. And increase the awkwardness. Well, in the meantime, we'll give Tinkerbell a heads up. See if she can make good on her promise to get us into Pan's camp. Snow and Charmin are coming back. And everything will remain normal. <laughs> you want you want to take back the normal part, or? Do you know where I could find someone named Bell? Ah. Uh. We follow our orders. We find out why she came, and then we make sure she never leaves this town again. Uh, maybe you didn't notice a sign: no shirt, no shoes, no service. Now you got a dress code. I seem to recall some ruby outfits that are seared into my brain. So, uh, who are you? What, what, why are you here? I came from Neverland. Rumpelstiltskin sent me. Wait, wait, wait. He's, uh, he's alive? Yes. I can defeat Pan and live. But only if you get me something from the shop. The object I need is hidden. But I know that with the strength of our love, you'll find it. With the strength of our love, you'll find it. being cryptic, isn't he? Yeah, that's really his thing. I think you're lying to me. My family, they're here. Why would you say that to him? I know it. Just that pretend that you're sure. still on the stick. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. But I'd be remiss if I didn't point out what does. If your family's here, Henry, why haven't they come for you? Because they're still under me! You don't know, do you? Well, this is awkward. Yeah, kiss. that was or unnecessary. She told you. That wasn't really a darker secret. Actually, it probably slipped her mind. I'm kind of focus on getting our son back. Of course. It's not a star map. It's what we're going to use to trap Pan's shadow. Coconut. You daft. You could have never landed on a pirate. It's worked before. Before, but you draw the line out of magic coconut. Oh, fair enough. There's only one thing he could have been talking about. That's a teacup. It's chipped. I know. That no matter how much this thing's been through, it survived. Just like our love. Oh! What is it? Pandora's box. Legend says it uh. contains the world's darkest evil. Ah! Ah! All that trouble for a box. They don't even look badass or scary Stay or anything. Still. Just a bunch of losers. Why do we... You don't even know what this is all about or who you're really working for. Peter Pan. What? I'm sorry, yes. what? We know exactly who we're working Since for. Since when? Rumpel said that... Greg and Tamara didn't know. They were patsies. Look, I know you're upset I didn't tell you I was poisoned. And even though it might seem like it wasn't fair, that's all I was trying to do. Be fair. I think Tinkerbell's just that way. 
Guess she's not ready for the talk yet. I assumed he'd heard my secret. I also assumed that you told him of our shared moment. Why would you assume that? Because I was hoping it meant something. What she told you didn't mean anything. You told us Neil was still alive. Thank you. So when I win your heart, Emma, and I will win it, it will not be because of any trickery. It will be because you want me. Well, damn, he's getting hotter and hotter. Shit. It's not a contest, Huck. Because then, you're gonna have to choose Emma. You realize that, don't you? Even after the magic wears off this bracelet, I'll find him and I will tell him how I feel. As long as he lives near the beach. Bracelet? Is, is that what turned your tail into legs? Yeah, why? I think we can get out of here. Got it! Whoops! <laughs> How could a part of me not want you to leave this place? I would happily build a treehouse and spend the rest of my days dodging poisoned arrows and lost boys as long as I had you by my side. But you should have told me. I know. I'm sorry. Stop! You're like, oh! Guys, we don't have time How for old are you guys? Three? Ah, oh, come on, she literally have to choose now. We're doing this. We're doing this. Eww. Oh my god. Please. Will die. I don't think we they have care. In common, because if we don't, someone we care about will die. What are you talking about? None of your concern. <laughs> That's not it. We don't care about magic. Then what, what were you trying them? to do? Trying to save our sister. Your sister? She's been Pan's prisoner for a long She's time. She's in the cage. Century. That's impossible. You'd be dead. Pan has kept us alive to do his bidding. Can you really stop him? Yeah. I believe we can. And if what you're saying is true, we will save your sister. Her name is Wendy. Wendy Dark. Oh, fuck! Wait a minute! Her. Tell her John and Michael are waiting for her. Am I free? Not yet, Wendy. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll deliver your message to God. Good luck. You knew my father? We were friends. A long time ago. When he was just a little bit older than you. He saved my brothers from danger. He would do anything for my family. Pan is already doing everything that he can. But the magic here. Fuck, he's gonna succeed to in the manipulation. Go. You really love her. Is that jealousy? A bell? I think not. No, no. Of having someone. Who knows what will Sorry, happen I'm if late. you leave Robin Hood? We ran into a few complications. Now you can have legs whenever you want. Orphan. <laughs> Whatever Eric's into these days. <laughs> Thank you. You're a tender storybook. <laughs> Seek him out. Tell Belle I love her. And that she was right. I will see her again. Let me be very clear about something. If I had to choose someone, no one. I choose Henry. Oh, but He's still no one between the two life. of them. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, I'm not lifting a finger until I see some proof that you've actually succeeded. <sighs> There's your proof. Here's all proof you need. A long time, Tank. She's dying, isn't she? I'm afraid she Henry's is. going to wound everything. That much should be on it. Because the magic here is slipping away. I would have told you, but I didn't want you to have that weight on your shoulders. Please. Knowing that a young girl's life depends on you. So I'm the only one who could save magic? Enemy, don't do anything. Wow. But he's gonna. What the heck? Is that Skull Rock? 
Yes. Oh wow, that was some weird kind of sushi. Salvation away. <laughs> this was episode 7 of season 3 of Once Upon a Time. I thought it was a very good episode. I really enjoyed it and especially like that we finally got to see, you know, also the storyline from Storybrooke's perspective. Um, it was a nice... You know, it was literally a nice change of scenery. Uh, because honestly, even though I'm definitely enjoying season 3 so far, it's nice to be away from the jungle for at least a few scenes. Um, it was also nice to see Belle again and all the fam familiar faces. Um, and also getting to see how they did the, well, how did the cloaking spell, uh, and the two guys who I was really pissed off at, you know, the two, I guess, baddies who were working for Pam and who managed to, to get into Storybook before, uh, the cloak spell, you know, 100% worked. Uh, we later find out that they are actually Wendy's brothers and that I was a little bit taken aback because I was already... Like, my, my irritation level was already up to here, like, ah! Oh! But then when we found out that they are Wendy's brothers, I was like, oh! So I guess I have to see how that will continue. But yeah. Um, so like I said, I enjoyed changing scenery. I enjoyed switching between Storybook and, I guess, Neverland. Um, I, also really, I also really enjoyed that scene between Hook and Emma. Uh, as I say, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit taking it back. <laughs> Thing is, um, there are there are, sometimes there are characters who I can obviously see are like handsome or attractive, but I'm not per se attracted to. Um, but sometimes that changes because I don't know I, I'm beginning to like the personality more or something. And uh, yeah, this episode, you know, it, not just this episode, but I mean. Definitely season three. I feel like I'm getting more and more attracted to Hook. I know it's not very important, but I still want to ch to share. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I did enjoy that scene between uh, Hook and Emma. Uh, maybe, maybe I might start to ship them like a, a little. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's something in the air. I don't know what's going on. Um, what I did not like, however, was of course ugh, the two of them, Beale and Hook, behaving like freaking kids, literally fighting over Emma. The, the the fight about the you know the fight fighting over Emma, you know, with the whole lighter thing was quite pathetic. And they almost got their shadows snatched away. So I was really scared that Emma would have to make a, a choice or something, you know, choosing between Neil and who who she would say first or something. But luckily it wasn't the case. And she just focused on trying to use magic, which she is getting you know, she's she's being teased by Regina and she managed to, you know, lit the candle and therefore um capturing Pan's uh, shadow so good good job Emma good job uh, also I liked how she emphasized emphasized is that the right word hmm. anyways uh, multiple times that she is here to get Henry Henry is the most important part I was literally like especially Neil like Neil Henry is also your son shouldn't you also know better really why are you even that upset about it like, Hook tells you that they kissed, they had, like, something. Do you see them all over each other? Come on now. You, you're not even in a relationship with Emma. Chill. I'm not saying that he can't be, I guess, feel hurt or little or something. Um, or be surprised with this, I guess, uh, with having this knowledge that they, I guess, kissed. Uh, and I know that things are very... I mean, he and Hook have a, quite a complicated path. Okay, the more I talk, the more like, wait a minute. At the end of the day, okay, I understand me first say la la la, but at the end of the day, we really have to focus on getting Henry back. And even more now, uh, because as we just saw, um, Peter Pan is, is doing quite well with his, with his little plan so far. Managed to manipulate him using uh, Wen Wendy, and now they're making their way uh, towards the towards Skull Rock. So yeah, uh... I'm I'm wondering, you know, if next episode, next episode, episode after, if they're going to be able to finally save Henry, or maybe they're gonna temporarily lose Henry. I don't know. I'm not sure how it all works. I'm not sure at a certain point if he, I guess, believes in Peter Pan or something. If maybe he crosses a certain line and maybe he's then sort of lost at that point. I don't know. I'm not sure if he can just like snap out of it. Um, also charming and snow also worked things out 
um, I did think that Charmy should have uh, give us no more time but on the other hand it's not like they have a lot of time and we don't even know if they're going to succeed with their plan um, you know their their plan of destroying uh, Peter Pan so okay I, I'll cut up some slack and thankfully the conversation eventually ended well um, and I understand that you know that that um, Charmy was scared about Snow not wanting to leave the island, wanted to stay with them because yeah, prospects are really not looking that great living on this island, <laughs> you know, having to dodge constantly poisonous arrows. It's not really, it's not really the best place to live. I don't think that you know you would be able, or I don't know, would be a wise idea for Snow to have here a second child as well. So I understand that, uh, but at the same time, you know, it's her. If she wants to make that decision, she makes that decision. You know, she can make that decision for herself. But yeah, I guess I understand to a certain level. Um, ultimately, I'm just glad that, you know, they're good now. Um, also, uh, Ariel was also uh, yet again fun to see. And I think she and Belle had a nice dynamic together. I like the scenes together as well. Um, and... I'm very happy that Regina kept her promise as well. I was a little bit nervous, but it seems that she really did keep her end of the deal. Uh, so now Ariel is always able to, to you know, use legs or fins or whatever, <laughs> whatever she wants. And she's now looking for Prince Eric and she has a clue with the button that Rumpelstiltskin had in his, in his shop. So hopefully she will find Eric soon. And I'm glad that uh, Ariel is going to I guess joining them back into Storybook. Also appreciated that Yumpa Stolskin asked her to tell Belle that, that he loves her and that he's going to come back. So yeah, I don't know. There are a lot of a lot of good things happened. A lot of good things happened. And then the whole Pandora's box that uh, <laughs> that also shook me a little. Um so we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping we will get more explanation about that next episode, probably. Um, yeah, big things are gonna happen. I think this was a nice uh, episode to, I guess, set the table, but still have a little bit of development as well. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.